Uh, folks and modelers, today I'm back for a build update and also a completed update on this kit, which is the USS Arthur W. Radford DD968. So this kit, uh, I did a review not too long ago. It's from uh, Hobby Boss at 1,250 scale. So this ship is a very small ship, very simple kit. So actually for the details, um, the kit is about 137.7 millimeters. And it says here total plastic parts is 35 pieces. But the thing is there's about six pieces of parts that are not used, so so the kit itself will have only 29 parts. So I think that's a very minimal part on this uh, kit. So let's just uh, get into my uh, ship, which I have completed it. So this is the ship. It's already uh, completed. And I think this was a pretty simple build. Not too many things to be done here. And in fact, I did not use any putty at all. So these two bottom and upper hull, there were no gaps. And, but there were a step when I put them together, so I just had to sand them off. So it turned out uh, pretty okay. So I started working, uh, painting my way from the bottom with the red brown, then the black. Then I did this uh, hull with this, uh, I think number 35, Mr. Mr. Color. So I've also painted the rest of the, the superstructure things in the same color. And the deck is uh, 305, a bit of a darker gray. So let's just uh, take a close look from the back here. So there are these uh, propellers. So at the back here, there are these uh, decals given and I think over here, there is some silvering on the on these areas here. I managed to cut out this piece here, but the rest uh, was already stuck to... I couldn't get it out, so I did not cut it. So you can see some silvering there. Usually what I will do with these kind of decals is uh, before I apply them, I will actually cut them, uh, I will cut off the uh, transparent portions here. But the inner portion here, I will usually cut it after I stick it. Because if you cut this before applying, I think the, the decals will wrinkle and it's gonna be ruined or difficult to apply. Uh, usually, you know, right after applying this decal, I can uh, easily cut them out and take this transparent part off. But this time it was, uh, maybe I put too much uh, the mark setter, uh, the mark fit. So it was a bit difficult. So most of the superstructure here, I did some weathering, some washes. And actually the ship looks quite detailed. And I like the, the superstructure details here. They, they are quite uh, sharp and nice. Except for this mast, which unfortunately, it is not just the, the beams, it is a full piece here. And I was thinking of actually cutting out all these plastic areas here. 
but I think I would you know probably break it because it is really small so I just left it that way and uh, you know painted the beams in black and actually these hollow areas here in grey so that was the only thing I think that's the only part where it doesn't look so realistic but the rest of the ship actually looks uh, looks pretty good for this size and uh, over here there's an anchor over here Even these uh, weapons, some, this is a boat, I think. And I was quite amazed that they could uh, mold these things out, you know. This, this is actually an entire piece. It is actually the, the crane holding the boat. So this is uh, actually one part here and it's and it's like so small if you can see my thumb so good work on the tooling i guess so just to compare what is this size you know this okay so this is the tamir glue so it is that small and I can't compare it to other kits because I don't have any other kits at this scale. So, yeah, it's done. I took a couple of days. I, I took my time on this, uh, worked on the those uh, small details there, weathered it. And the masking was uh, not too bad. In fact, the top deck, I just... I just uh, airbrushed it and then the rest of these smaller things here I touched up with the you know hand painting it so some of these areas got a bit difficult because uh, after I touched these things I noticed that this is to be in the light grey so I have to paint this while all these things were already attached. Same goes for this this square thing here. So, okay, there you go. <coughs> A very simple kit, very cheap, and I think it looks kind of cute. Uh, small, and it will go on this stand here like this. So, uh, yeah, just a quick uh, completed review on this. But for this 1250 scale series from Hobby Boss, um, there are probably about like six or seven kits at this scale. But they are of all the same. Uh, this. Uh, I think this is a Spruance class and they are all the same. It's, uh, it's a matter of some variance on the things like this radar being replaced with a mask. That, that is why the, <coughs> the parts includes uh, this other piece of mask here. So probably if you get at the other kit, so this is what goes on there. And with a slight uh, variance, a little bit. So these are the, some extra parts. I think these are like like radars. I'm not sure what is this and this. So I think if you buy the other kits, probably it's you're gonna get the same thing except that you'll be attaching these instead of like this radar. And there was another type of funnel given which I'm sure is for the other variants so this I think this funnel has a little bit of extra things here so 
<coughs> I don't think I will get the other kits unless it's a totally different ship. Otherwise, it's gonna be the same, you know, parts that you're getting, except for probably the the numbers here, slight variance on the superstructure. So I think this is uh, <coughs> just one kit that I'm gonna be doing from Hobby Boss. I I quite enjoyed this. Uh, no party work, no photo edge, no. Nothing much, just assembly, painting, a little bit of uh, cleaning up. So, okay, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, until the next time, happy modeling. And cheers for now. Goodbye.